welcome back to another video today we'll discuss about the middle range theory developed by robert k morton first let me explain in a very simple term uh, what is middle range theory all of you know that middle range theory is an approach to sociological theorizing aimed at integrating theory and empirical research so this is the basic uh, idea of middle range theory that integrating theory into empirical research now before going to the details of uh, middle range theory let me explain the background in which martin has developed his middle range theory um, i think here two points are very important while we are discussing about the background of uh, the development of middle range theory and the first point is that middle range theory is a critic to uh, parson's idea of grand theory all of you know that uh, Tarkot Parson has developed a grand theory of uh, you know functionalism etc. So this uh, middle range theory firstly is a critic to Parson's idea of grand theory. Why middle range theory is a critic to Parson's idea of grand theory because Parson's grand theory is more abstract and general. Therefore Burton says that it is very difficult to test empirically. Now the second point is that Morton also believed that there is a serious problem with everyday research like uh, phenomenology, symbolic interactionalism, etc. Because he believed that everyday research is too much empirical. At the same time, uh, he did not suggest empirical generalization as an alternative to Parsons' grand theory. Therefore, uh, par uh, therefore Morton was uh, critical to both uh, grand theory, the idea of grand theory of Parson and also the uh, empir uh, everyday empirical research. So Merton uh, argues that sociology should not focus only on everyday uh, empirical generalization and also should not go for a grand theory. Because he elaborated that the problem with the grand theory is that it is more abstract and hence uh, difficult to test empirically. At the same time, the problem with the empirical uh, research is that it is too much empirical and therefore very difficult to form a theory. So Merton suggests that or Merton believed that sociology should develop a middle range theory. Now all of you keep in your mind that middle range theory does not refer to a specific theory. It is not a theory but uh, it is an approach to theory construction. Which means that middle range theory itself does not constitute a theory but provide a way for constructing a theory. Now uh, let me explain some of the basic uh, idea of middle range theory. Middle range theories are those that are both enough to observable data to be testable and abstract enough to form thematic theory development. Merton argues that the problem with the Parsons theory is that he has already developed a unified theory and uh, whatever the data will be collected empirically may fit into this theory. But uh, Merton believes that this will not bring an actual result. Parsons attempt to construct a total theoretical system uh, covering all aspects of uh, you know, social life. Merton advocates that sociology uh, should concentrate on measurable aspects of uh, social reality that can be studied as a separate social phenomena rather than attempting to explain the entire social world. So here we can see that Merton has made an attempt to uh, integrate theory with empirical research. So middle range theories are normally constructed by applying theory building techniques to empirical research. So some of the examples of middle range theories are uh, reference group theory, social mobility, role conflict, etc. So this is a very brief account of uh, what is middle range theory. Thank you.